and it's a lintel you can see what it is it's where the old window's been and that's where the joggles were see where the bricks cut around the joggles Steve writes on so it's getting on for half two it's so hard on my own I'm not used to doing this on my own Monday morning, Monday the 4th of July, happy 4th of July, 20 American views. Here we are in, on a new job. And it's a lintel. I know you all like the lintel jobs. So we're all kitted out for the lintel. Brought these, I don't think we're going to need them. The reason being it's a bungalow. Alex just took the tarp off for us. The customer took the window out for us, which is a big help. So that's all been done for us. So we've uncovered it. We've got this lintel here, timber lintel, which is too high. The customer wants it the same height as this one. I think that's like a concrete lintel in that one. But yeah, they want, to, they want it to line through. And they want it to line through there as well. So we're coming down a bit and we're coming up a bit. So we three coarser brick on the outside, I think. And course a block on the inside or a few bricks I think we've got plenty of bricks customers their own bricks which is always a big help so yeah um, we're gonna get the trestle set up and have a little see what's up here hopefully there's nothing above that so we're not trying to it'd be all good to build if it is we'll have a look and you'll see you'll see what we see a bit windy today Alex isn't feeling 100%, he's, uh, he's, not, he's not been well for a few days, so he's, he's managed to drag himself in for me today. It's just a big help when I'm up and down on the scaff. So yeah, um, usual thing, on to time lapse while we get set up. Right, we're up. Got a bit of timber, one course above. Let's be able to see that. Yep. Tap, tap, tap. This you can see a crack here. This is all loose, so we're going to take all this out. Probably get rid of this air vent because it's been sealed up anyway. Break this, rebrick all this. But I started tapping away at this half. Came out pretty easy. Can you make that out? There you go. So there you go. More trout. That's sand and cement. So that's this is an original. There you go. That lintel is sat on. crack here so it's not embedded on so let's get it out get all this taken out and cleaned up and get ready to get it all back in There we go. I haven't got all the loose stuff out yet. There's a bit more to come out yet. But um, yeah, there's been work done here. That, that's where the vent was. So obviously that's been bricked up. So we can get rid of the vent. Take this half out. Get this all bricked back up. Same again. You can see what it is. It's where the old window's been. And that's where the joggles were. See where the bricks cut around the joggles. And then we just gobbed it up and put a, a really piece of timber in. So, so that 
it's coming out. And that's coming out. And then we're going to get cracking again. There's the wall plate. She caused the brick on top of the lintel. This is coming down here. So this is going to be stunning studding. The inside. I think you can just stud this to make it match. There's no point messing about with all this. When you can just, because it's all supported, the lintel's okay. And then they can just reduce it with the stud. Alex is just having a bit of a sit down. He's not good. But he's, um, he's dragged himself out to give me a hand, which is all good of him. So yeah, let's get the rest of this loose stuff out and then get ready for putting it back together. Right, I've had a quick brew. That looks still isn't good. Um, yeah, it's all tidied up now. All cleaned off. It's four courses to go in here. Because we're going level with this. I've got the window inside to measure off. And this is brick back up. That's our new lint light. So we've got a 1.8 to go across there, which gives us 185 mil either side seating. And then we're just going to put one course across the top. There's no need for the two because it's not doing anything. As long as we go past the soffit. Um, and then we'll get these four put in later on. So I'm going to go, I've done all the bricks and I'm going to go and put a mix in now. So yeah, that shouldn't take long. Put half a mix in and get stuck into it.
Right, we're all levelled up. Ready to chuck lint on. Unfortunately Alex is too bad so his mum's coming to get him. So I'm just gonna keep cracking on, get this done. So um yeah, I'm gonna stick it back over the fence, you've got a bit of a bit of wider angle and then um, we'll get this lint on and get this brick across the top. Catch in a bit. After a lot of women in our in, um, lintels in. The walls are a bit wonky when you can repair them, they're not bang on straight, but we're getting there. So, lintels in, as you can see. We start bringing the brickwork across, but as you know, these lintels need propping. I can't physically prop it off this wall because this is even built up today as well. And I was, I was going to use the lintel, the old lintel underneath there, but it's quite heavy, so it's bit risky really so I've decided to leave that now head back to um, Fairwoods get some blocks for here get this built up I know it's a pain leaning down like that but get this built up but inside and out put a piece of timber on top and prop off there with the old lintel cut it down again but just prop it straight off there so it's going to be so much easier so much more um, safer as well so yeah um, Alex is gone now his mum picked him up he's still not so good so I'm going to pack up my um, stuff I don't need and just nip to Fairwoods, which is only a couple of miles away, so it won't take me long. And then grab a bit of lunch, so I'll see you after lunch. There we go. Steve writes on, so it's getting on for half two. It's so hard on my own. I'm not used to doing this on my own. Up and down, up and down. But anyway, back to get all the cuts done with the still saw. Hope you can still hear me. So you've got the big cuts at the front and it's a very thin cut on the back because there's an extra course of brick on the back. That's all done, it's all leveled up. Insulated, ready for the window. Now I've got that bulk of timber on the top there. That's just to um, rest the 
prop on for now. Temporary prop. I think they want to try and get the window in tonight, but I might ask them to leave it tonight and um, fit it tomorrow, hopefully. Um, yeah, because they um, could do the prop staining all night, and obviously the prop's in the way of the window. There's no other way of propping it, really. So I'm gonna, this one I'm with now, getting the prop in, and then I'm going to get those last few bricks across the top. So yeah, catch you in a bit. a bit whisky with but it doesn't matter it's doing its job it's stopping the sag while well, I take these two across here right back to town let's, let's get these last few in Right, um, about half four now. Just finished packing up. That takes a long time on your own, that. But it's done. It's all there. I up. All spots in there. So there's our new window. Inside and out done. New lintel propped up. Trim popped off just so I could get the last bricks in. Customer's going to put that back in tomorrow when they put the window in. And the window's going in tomorrow. That stays in overnight. Until it's, uh, until it's gone off and then it supports itself. So yeah, a bit of extra work with the, all the crap brick work, but that's not a problem. And I've just got to go inside now and tidy that up. So, as Alex would say, if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that bell button. And thanks for watching. You've been watching Brick Lemon Steam and Alex. And we'll catch you in the next one.